Happy Thursday. How you doing, huh? Hey, I want to talk to you today about how to demand what is due from God. How to demand what is due. Remember those words. What is due. You from God. This is going to be good, huh? Hallelujah. Say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. The best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart and getting smart every day. I'm extremely talented. Everybody likes me. I am a wonderful person. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Amen. Start talking like that. Talk good about yourself. Our message today is out of this book, How to Pray. If you, The reason I wrote this book is because people don't know how to pray. They don't know how to pray. If they did, they'd get, be getting their prayers answered. Amen. I want to talk to you today about how to get what is due. Go to my website, increasenow.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Tell everybody you know about these videos. We want everybody to live an abundant life. I'm wearing my glasses now a little bit more than I did before because I'm giving my eyes a rest from the contacts. I need to rest my eyes. Sometimes when you wear contacts, you have to rest your eyes a little bit. So that's what I'm doing right now. Glory to God. But my eyes will heal very quickly. Amen. Make sure you call me today when you do your offerings and donations and your tithe because I want to speak the blessing over you. The word for word blessing that God told us to speak. Amen. Hallelujah. God said when you bless them and here's the words. He gave us the words in Numbers chapter 6. He said when you speak these words over the people, he told the priest that. He said, I will bless them. So I do, and he does. That's why our partners, we have the most blessed partners in the world, because I speak that blessing over them all the time. Everybody knows that when you call me, I will break the curse of the law in your life and speak the blessing over you, because I want you to live a curse-free, blessed life. And we know that's how to make it happen. All you have to do is watch your words. Amen. So glory to God. I want to show you something here. In Mark chapter, or I'm sorry, uh, John chapter 14. Jesus says, in John chapter 14, verse 13. Now you can see I spend a little bit of time in here. My, uh, John chapter 14 is a wonderful chapter. Actually, the entire book of John is wonderful. Actually, the whole Bible is wonderful. John chapter 14, verse 13. And Jesus said, Jesus is the one to get your information from because the rest of them are great. But it's, it's like to me, when the Lord says something, you know, he says, and whatsoever you shall ask. What does that mean? That means anything. Understand this. We wrote this book. We put this book together because we realized that people don't know how to pray. They just pray. Most people just pray. They have actually, when they, when they start praying, they have no intentions of getting their prayers answered. They just pray. So, Pastor Jim, we're going to pray down at the beach at 5 o'clock this morning. Would you like to join us? I say, no. But if there's anything you need from God, I can get it for you. Because the difference between me and them is I can get prayers answered. I know how to do it. They don't. They just pray. They should, instead of just praying... They should be praising. Now, if they're going to go down to the beach 
to praise God. Good chance I'll go with him. Because I love to praise the Lord. Actually, around here, we praise God all day long. But we don't pray all day long. I heard somebody say, well, I pray all day long. And I'm thinking, about what? About what? Prayer, to me, is asking God for something. Now, I know you're going to say, well, prayer is communication with God. And it is. Praise is actually prayer, prayer too. But the prayer I do is praise. We praise God all day long. Start in the morning. Get up and look, Lord, thank you for this day. At night, we thank the Lord for the day. And we declare that tomorrow will be better than today. Most of our prayer is declarations. Amen. Jesus said, And whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Now, I want you to see verse 14. This is huge, people. If you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. But that is actually a mistranslation. What that, the way that should be translated is, if you demand what is due to you, I will do it. That is the original Greek and Aramaic translation of that verse. The Apostle John, when he wrote that, he quoted Jesus, and Jesus said, if you demand what is due from God, I, in my name, I will do it. Now, there's a big difference between praying and asking God about something and demanding that God do it. Huge different. I talk all the time, and there is a lot in this book about demanding prayers. And there's a lot in my book, How to Get a Miracle, about demanding prayers. Demanding prayers will get you a miracle. And when you demand what is due, you're going to see a miracle, folks. That is the, that's the third way to get a miracle. There's three ways to get a miracle. Number one, you can get a miracle with your faith. Number two, you can get a miracle with my faith. That's the easiest way to do it. Or number three, if neither number one or number two works, I'll put people on a program of number three, and you will start to demand what is due. And that, now that sometimes takes a while. Sometimes it, I've seen it take months. I've seen it take hours. But I've never seen it fail. I've never seen it fail. People who keep doing this, demanding what is due. Now, you got to ask yourself, what is due? Well, I'll tell you what is due. Paul said, my God shall supply all your needs. If it is a need, it is something due. What do you need? Well, I've got several ladies right now out there who want husbands. Is a husband something you need? Ask yourself that question. I'll answer it for you. Yes, a husband is something you need. If you have a desire for a husband, it is, a, it is something you need. Therefore, it falls under what is due. Is healing something you need? 
Oh, yeah. Therefore, it falls under what is due. How about financial increase and an abundance? Yes. Jesus said, I am come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Is, uh, is abundance something that is due? Yes. So you can demand it from God. I did. Is the blessing of the Lord something you can demand from God? The answer is yes. You can demand the blessing of the Lord from God. I did that for eight months. I demanded it for eight months, all day long, every single day. And I'm telling you what, we are living in absolute abundance, folks, because I knew it was due me. Jesus said, he says, if you shall demand anything do you in my name, write this down. John chapter 14, verse 14. If you ask anything that is due, is what that verse, actually the original translation of that verse, that which is due you, do, D-U-E. In other words, you got it coming to you. If you demand what is coming to you from God, you will get it. Now, I'm, tell, I'm talking to you about how to pray, folks. I mean business when I pray. I don't just, well, I don't No, I mean business. And when you call me and you have needs, and believe me, my phone rings all day long, every day. This is the only prayer ministry in the country where people can call and actually talk to the minister and get their prayers answered. There's prayer lines out there, but they just pray with you. I get them answered for you. I will demand what is due you from God. When I pray, folks, I am not just praying. I, I, I intend for that prayer to get answered. That's why I get so many praise reports. I mean, we get praise reports all day long. Sometimes, I mean, some, some weeks are just, we're just uh, inundated with praise reports. Healing. We have had people healed off their deathbed from this awful virus that's going around. I mean, a bunch of them. People whose, whose, whose oxygen level was dropping like a rock. That means they were dying, healed. We've had brain dead people healed. Because let me tell you something, folks. I don't just show up and pray for somebody. And I get, I get, I do this over the phone. You call me, I will demand that God give you what is due you. Hannah, 1 Samuel chapter 1, had need of a child. She needed to have a baby boy. Because in those days, if a woman died without a son, she was out on the street. She had an incredible need. And Eli the priest made it happen for her. And people call me with needs. And I make it happen for them, just like Eli did. You read 1 Samuel chapter 1, and that's exactly what I do. Verse 17. Hey, I'm out of time, folks. Go to my website, increasenow.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you call me today if you have needs. If you need something, call me. And make sure you call me. Tomorrow is offering day, but a lot of people will jump in there and do it on Thursday and Thursday night. But call me. Make sure you call me because I want to speak that blessing over you. The word for word blessing that God told us to speak. And I'm telling you what, I will demand that God bless you because it's due you. I am determined you're going to live a curse-free, blessed life. And I will use the power in the name of Jesus to make it happen.